So right now I'm going to do two shout outs. We're going to shout out people who are in the Discord and put their thing in upcoming creators. And these are just other content creators that you guys can check out for yourself. I'm going to do two today. So just going down the first, what I've what I been looking, I'm not even going to do the number random generator, but blurry. Okay. So this is the first guy to get shouted out today. Um, I've known blurry for a little bit. He's been in the SND community. B L V R R Y. You could just do blurry join move or something to find it. Subscribe, like, and he might be an S N D content creator. Uh, is this copyright? Sorry. No, wait. It is copyrighted. No. So I, I can't really play it because it's copyrighted. Oh no, he doesn't do S N D anymore, or at least doesn't post right now because you know rebirth so you guys can go check out blurry right there i'm gonna put his channel in the description below so shout out to blurry and then the other person that we're going to check out is let me delete this blurry do 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 wreck dexon don't even get 60 frames but i'll make it work okay shout out to dexon only six subscribers and he got 88 views in this video. This guy's going crazy. Vibing on the island. Shout out to Dexon. I'm going to just call him Dexon. DXN. I don't know. But shout out goes to this guy as well. And remember that for you guys to get into this shout out. Or just get randomly selected. You got to join the discord. And you got to go and click on the upcoming creators right here. And then just put your channel description or channel link in here. And then you can get a chance to be shouted out in the video w wallpaper by the way before i start this video i do want to say that i've been getting a lot of gameplay on the second channel the fifth seal but it's just spelled out and this is pretty much where all my high kill games are gonna be as long as my wager matches so if you're interested in seeing me just obliterate people without me talking a lot or teaching you how to get better you just want to see the gameplay then go on this channel and it's almost at 1k subscribers so please get this to at least a thousand subscribers so that it can start growing rapidly like this channel. Alright guys, so recently, if you've seen my second channel, you've noticed that I've had a lot of fun playing um, the 1v1me app and then playing Checkmate Gaming. Just putting money on the line really makes the game more... like there's higher stakes for you to actually beat your opponent because if you're just saying oh 1v1 me and then you go 1v1 someone they might not take it that serious and it's kind of annoying when you're a really competitive person you want to get better and the other person is just like not even trying and he's messing around but then when you put money on the line it's like oh i want to try my hardest all the time so um i just started doing small wagers here and there nothing too crazy I'm just trying to see what is the strategies other people are using and how can i really benefit off using some of their strategies so that i can have the most effective way of winning these matches and there was a lot of things i learned so far you know learned it the hard way of just completely getting stomped on i'm like how am i getting destroyed in rebirth and uh, i kind of want to go over that in this video i want to show you an example of a match that i lost and then an example of a match that i won and I think it's very important to show both of them because if you see how I lost, you could just be like, oh, well, I'm not going to do this because this is exactly why you lost. But then if you see a match where you where I won, then you're going to be like, oh, OK, well, Seal did this, this and that and that contribute to his win. So I am going to talk a little bit over it, but I'm also going to keep it uh, straight out, too, so that you guys can see the difference between when I won the match and then when I lost the match. And before I even start it, I'm going to say overall, people who jump towards the chopper first, they get a chopper and immediately try to kill people. That's been the most effective strategy so far. Other people have used it against me and they've done really well. And then when I use it against other people, usually I kept the match going long and we didn't die out super fast. So getting the chopper first was a really important strategy. Uh, if you could do that every time, that would probably be the best thing to do. But highly recommend doing that. And then also UAVs, people usually don't pop UAVs at all, unless they really have to, like the entire team is dead and you can just get away with a UAV. But if you pop a UAV, you're helping both sides. So it's, it kind of helps, but it kind of doesn't. So we just decide not to do it anyways. Maybe spend it on an airstrike or something and do something that benefits you 
instead of benefiting the other team at the same time. So I was doing 1v1s in this video and you're gonna see the gameplay right now. Also, I do wanna say that I'm live on Twitch pretty much every single day. So you can just search up the underscore fifth underscore seal on Twitch or you can check out the description below. And don't be afraid to check out any other Sense members. I will be adding more onto this channel as we grow the team. And then I have my other channels. Then I have my High Code Game channel, my main channel, the Fifth Seal, for tutorials, and then Honor channel for montages. And if you guys are looking to grow as a content creator, you can check out the Sixth Seal. Also, do not be afraid to join the Discord. Uh, you could pretty much just go on here just to chat with people. I know I like talking with you guys sometimes. If you want to DM me, ask me a question. Or we have things like announcements. So if you go to the announcement section, I make daily announcements of either when I'm live or new changes that I'm having towards my channel, the Sense Team, or just anything important that I really want to say to you guys is going to be done on here. So please be sure to join the Sense Discord. What you telling me, my boy? You, how was your day? It was alright. Good yeah. job. You been in school? Yeah, I am in school. Enough training. Now you fight a real enemy. <sighs> he asked me how my day was. No, you're five dollars short. Alright, let's focus. Yes. He's getting kills. Go, 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 go. Yo, where is this guy? He's holding up my time. Wow. The guy's up there. I need a shotgun. Well, that kind of helped, but kind of didn't. I don't know if that helps him out too. Whatever. Wow, I'm dead. 
All right, so the first mistake you see that I made here is I have an SMG, right? Everything I did up to this point was really good. I liked how I used the buildings a lot to help me get certain advantages other, of over other people. But right here, it's like I kill him. I'm moving. And I see the guy on the minimap. So now I'm pushing him. And he's far away. And he has an AR. So I should not be challenged. Even though I got a few hits off. I should not be challenged. He's straight up destroying me. I should just be running away. Maybe use the stim to push him or something. I don't know, but don't shoot. Wow, well, I'm dead. And I had a self revive too. Thank God I had a self revive because if I didn't, the other guy could have killed himself immediately and then that would have been game over. So that was probably the first mistake I made right here. Unless he sucks. It's not a good spot to fight. Have you saw me? Alright guys, so one of the reasons why I died right here is pretty much because I didn't know what this building was. And right here you can see that as I'm moving in here, I hear them, but they're not downstairs. So I have to automatically assume that they are upstairs, but I just didn't know where the stairs were. So right here I run into it, but if I knew the stairs were right there, I could have immediately gone down here and head glitched this right here and then immediately killed this guy. But... I'm just like starting out in the open, I get caught out in the open, and before I shoot one shot, he has me down to half my health. And then I just jump out of it, down him. I try to go for the finish because I, I knew the other guy was going to kill me, but I didn't get it, so. Sucks there, it's very important to know the map, especially since the new update, you gotta know every single spot that exists and how to beat certain things. Wow! He's gonna push down there too, isn't he now? Oh my gosh. Then The aim is just locked on, bro. The aim is just locked on. The final mistake that really cost me this game was that... Uh, people could say that it's old because you play on really low sensitivity, but I still believe that low sensitivity doesn't really have too much to do with what just happened right here. Yes, I play on three sensitivity, but look. Look what happened right here. He moved over there, and I had to move quickly over here, and since my aim is just locked right here... He kind of had like an explosion over there. So my aim assist is still stuck down here and is trying to track him. And he immediately jumps downwards. So aim assist actually hurt me a lot there. And it was the main reason I died because it was leading me in the wrong direction that he wasn't at. So <sighs> you would have to use more movement to get out of the situation. So let's just say, you know, he's doing his jump. I would have to run around here and not shoot at him. Me standing around and shooting at him is only making me stuck in place and letting him kill me. And then I try to just throw a throwing knife just in case that would down him. That was my last option. And it got me killed. So if you are in that situation, it's better to just run away and try to get another good position than letting your aim assist get you stuck. When I didn't want it to. If you kill somebody, you come back to life. So everything should be good right now. He's gonna play safer. You to the front line. 
The amount is nice. He's pushing down. Why? He's, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Oh my gosh. That's so dumb. Try to get the chopper. Oh no, give me that chopper, give me that chopper. He's going for it too, yes he is. He got it, he got it. I need a gun. Remember guys, every single time you can use a head glitch, use the head glitch. Like, it's, even though I have a shotgun, why would I put myself in the position to get shot even more if I rush up on him? If I'm in the head glitch, I'm just like, okay, easy. Easy kill him right there. Always, always, always use that head glitch. We both got kills. Down to him. Our helicopter killed that person. Oh, he doesn't want to finish my kill. Oh, dang it. Nobody over there. Is that a guy? Yes, it is. Not playing the game. Thank you. GG's. Alright, we're doing good, guys. Oh, he's killing people. No! No, man! Alright, come on, come on. He almost died, he almost died! I got the kill? Oh my gosh, W. He's gonna try to go over there too to kill him. Put armor on him. What is this guy doing? He's hiding behind a box, head glitching. I'm still winning by two. I'm winning by two. Uh, if he dies, if he gets blown up right here. Oh my god. One of the strategies I had right here too is that I know that I have more kills than him. So if he goes down and kills somebody, then I can take their guns. That's why I'm trying to spawn right next to him. But if he goes down there and dies and I'm winning, I can just fight them with the pistol and lose. And I would win the match. So that's the reason why I decided to follow him and not go around and try to get some gun and then get destroyed by another person. If he kills him, I'll just take their gun. Dang, he's, he's gonna get some kills. My kill. Alright, we wiped- Oh! Oh, you getting sandwiched.
I was gonna say, thank you. Oh, I'm winning by one. I'm winning by one point. I don't have a. Wow. We're not gonna talk about my loadout. I'm not gonna kill myself, it's not fair. Funny thing about this match too is he actually thought that I killed myself on purpose and I still didn't get credit for the win. They're going to have to dismute the match and do some stuff with that, which really sucks because he was really mad that I won by one point. It was it was only like a dollar wagers too. It, was, it wasn't even big money. I don't know why he was so upset he lost. But yeah, those are two games that really where I lost and I won and I did good in both of them. I still made, you know, some stupid mistakes. But for the most part, that was some of the things that I've learned and that I'm going to put towards my future of when I 1v1 or even 2v2 people in Rebirth.